Hello, this is Dr. Gary from First Sick MRI, and this is a 55-year-old female. This is an MRI of the pelvis here, and she had complaints of low back pain. Um, she had an MRI years ago that showed arthritis of her facet joints on the left, and that did correspond to her left-sided pain. She also had a big uterus with lots of um, fibroids. She had a hysterectomy and did an ultrasound following up, and they found that she may have an ovarian mass. They were worried about a malignancy of an ovary, and so they did this MRI of the pelvis to, to look at that a little bit better. On this view, we can see the uterus is absent. In the middle, we see the urinary bladder here. We don't see a big uterus in the middle. We see the right hip, left hip. This is called a coronal view. You see the left hip here, right hip. This is the bladder filled with urine, and this is just an artifact that darkness is where the urine is jetting in there, causing um, fast, turbulent flow. And we see these small intestines looping around. We're going to look for the ovaries. They can sometimes be hard to see um, with the bowel loops right adjacent to them. But in this patient, this is the left over here, this dark thing. You can see over here in this axial image right over here, this is the left ovary. You can see how it looks just like the loops of intestines, muscle, vessels, ovary, intestines, but really hard to separate. They all look very similar. On the right side, let's see if we can find it. It's difficult, but this is the right ovary. Right here, it looks ovoid. It's a loop of intestines swinging around. But there's the right ovary. You can see it over here. And the ovaries are not enlarged. I don't see an ovarian malignancy. So we don't see what they're talking about um, as far as ovarian pathology goes. But if we go back, we do see that she has a finding. This is probably what they had seen on the ultrasound and weren't sure what it was. So this is a round mass. This is the right sacroiliac joint. This is the ilium, sacrum. We see this thing here. This is colon, part of the colon. There's actually the rectum. And this mass over here, this is, by the way, this artifact, the foot wrapping up in here. Um, this is a tumor, a solid tumor here. We already saw that the ovary is in the pelvis, up higher anterior. Here it is. This thing is down lower in the back. These are blood vessels, so it looks like it's not right within the cavity there with the loops of intestines and ovaries. It's outside of it. It's behind the blood vessels in front of this muscle, the piriformis muscle. And so in this region, we have some blood vessels and nerves. So this is in the neurovascular bundle back here. And if we look on another view, we can see that the sciatic nerve comes right out of it here. Here's a view where we can see the sciatic nerve right here. Here it is elongated, here it is, and then here's that mass. This is called a T1 image. It's very dark on this view, relatively uniform. This is a T2 weighted sequence where fat is bright, fluid is bright, and muscle is dark here. Also we see this is bright, and this is very typical for tumors of neural origin, like a schwannoma. We can see it is very well defined, and it has this mottled a low signal and a background of bright signal, typical for a neural tumor. This is a sagittal view looking in profile. You can see the tumor in the back. Here's towards the front. Here's the back, very sharply defined. Again, that typical mottled low signal in the background of hyperintense signal in this T2 sequence. This is a view before contrast, a T1 weighted view, a special T1 weighted sequence. There's the lesion. If we look off on the outside of it, we can see right there. It starts to tent outwards and this is that sciatic nerve. So it looks like that sciatic nerve goes right into it there. This again would go along with the tumor of neural origin. And finally here we have a contrast enhanced image. This is the right side has contrast. You can see the blood vessels bright around here. This is the tumor. This is a non-contrast view. The same exact images but with contrast. We see the muscles all a little bit, are a little bit brighter. Blood vessels enhance in this tumor has enhancement about the periphery and this model enhancement within it, most pronounced about the periphery. And again, the enhancement pattern is also typical for a schwannoma. This is a sagittal view showing that irregular, more peripheral enhancement and the modeled uh, scattered enhancement within it. So this is, uh, again, a, a, a suspected benign tumor of neural origin, probably a schwannoma, classic. Um, signal intensity and enhancement pattern. And so to recap, if you see a sharply defined tumor, this homogeneous low and in signal intensity on the T1 sequence, 
especially a long neurovascular pathway. And the lesion is this mottled low signal in the back end of hyperintense T2 signal. There's a fat suppress sequence here and non fat suppress T2 sequence. And relatively prominent enhancement, most pronounced by the periphery. I think about a neural tumor such as a schwannoma.